So welcome back to the crew. This is beta number two. I did play the first beta, but the new beta has been released today, and I managed to download all the updates and stuff. Unfortunately, the game has deleted my freaking save, so I have my I don't, my save is completely gone. It's disappeared. I can't access it. My my poor Ford Mustang has disappeared into oblivion. So I'm not really sure what to do. Should we restart the whole game again, or should we do like certain bits? We can just travel around the world, free roam, or something. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more episodes on the beta or should I just wait for the full game? I don't know. Let me know anyway. We're at least going to do this one video and see how it goes because I want to play again anyway. I quite, I quite enjoy myself first time around, so um, let's continue. Uh, it's just, I'm just it's literally, it's delete my save, so <sighs> yeah. Anyway, if you want to see more episodes, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section below, let me know on Twitter, and this is the intro scene again. <laughs> A little busy, Harry. Got some heat, but it's nothing I can't handle. Shut it down, kid. You're racing tonight. So you may recognize that that main voice is a guy from Bioshock or Delson uh, from Infamous. Oh, this truck is insane. Just manic. The heli uh, police chasing after me. I've got to turn slightly right here. And so, Jesus, the, the police cars are insane. Trying to completely knock me off the track. You bastards. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Whoa! It's probably been a lot of um, like bug fixes and stuff, but this base is purely just to try and push the amount of people online and just try and just challenge the servers and stuff. Make sure this game is fully ready for release. Um, I have heard that. Oh god, I'm going completely wrong way here. Um, there will be a beta on the PS4 and Xbox One as well. I'm not sure when that will be. Oh, horses! Hello, horses. I'm not sure when that started. It may have started today, but um, you can sign up. You go to the, the crew website, you can log in and hope you want to access the beta. I think it is limited, but yeah, like I said, they're trying to push the amount of numbers on. Anyway, that's the that's the finish line just ahead. Do not. Oh, there's a ramp there. Damn it, I missed the ramp. This is um interesting. Who's behind us? We're pretty far away from the police now. I have really just bombed it. I hit like every tree. Done. Yes. Woo! That was fun. That is intense. And my car looks slightly battered. Just just slightly. Slightly a little bit knocked. I'd say, oh yes. Gold! Of course. I'm hoping I can just like, perfect my driving as well. I wasn't the perfect driver in the uh, the first beta. So I was going to just try and challenge myself, not hit traffic, and just refine hey, my I'm skills. Clean. I'm on my way. About time, Alex. I've got you a race-ready ride stashed in a barn nearby. Where? Where? You haven't updated your 510 net in a while, have you? I guess I haven't. Is my, has it been fixed? It's been magically it's fixed. On your mini -map? It should be showing the direction of the nearest data station. The closer you are, the greener it gets. Follow. So I've got to make sure that little, that little beam of... Oh, it's getting greener. Right, there it is. I can see it. It's just in front of us. Just over there. So I guess it's just, yeah, long here and then turn left. So looking at the map a little bit too much. I'm not really looking at the road, which is slightly uh, hazardous. Yeah, there it is. That's a satellite. <laughs> Pretty sure it is anyway. Done. Harry, I'm here. What now? We need you at this race real soon, Alex, so let's get your map up to date. Oh, more computer crap, right? That's right. Let's get you synced to the 510 net. Boom. Ready. I'm still concerned about this game. Why is it still running at 30 frames a second? It's locked to 30 frames a second. Um, I need to speak to Ubisoft we about that. Back doors into these data stations <laughs> please, all that out, the please. So we load our own info onto their servers. You can find everything on here, man. Race events, places of interest, you name it. And it's all encrypted and secure. I marked the barn on there. You see it? Yeah. Set a waypoint and get over there. We need you back in Detroit ASAP. I'm pretty sure that is Samuel Jackson. It must be. So set a waypoint. That's the map. I do like the map and stuff. The interface looks really good. It works really well because the map is. It's hard to explain how big this map is. Get a hustle it's on, Alex. You massive. ain't got time to screw around. Oh, chill out, mate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is Samuel Jackson. Oh, US tour bus. That. Yeah, the, the world is massive. It's just truly crazy. It takes me about... I think I, let's have a quick look at the map a second. It took me about... Um, I think it's about 45 minutes to travel from there to there. <laughs> Detroit to Chicago. It took me about 45 minutes. 
maybe even an hour. It might have took longer. I can't remember actually. But it took me so long. This map is truly crazy. So you got New York over here, the East Coast. Um, what else have we got? New York, the South, Miami. I've never been to Miami yet, so I want to go and visit there at some point. Uh, the Mountain States. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh, got um, Las Vegas, Los Angeles. So yeah, you got the general sort of gist of it. Seattle over there as well. That's right in the top corner. I thought Seattle was like in the middle. That's how stupid my my state knowledge is. Um, or city knowledge. Yeah, so to see the map is just insane. So there's so much to explore. You see a little satellite beaming around as well, which you can go to and uh, access more of the map. Get to the barn, okay. I mean, we could potentially live stream this. If, so some of you guys could watch me just play the whole game. <laughs> Pretty much again, and just yeah, it'd be fun. I don't know. Hey, Harry, I'm here. We happy? Oh, we happy? We very. Damn right. I put a lot of money under the hood, so you should have more than enough muscle to burn tonight's crowd. Speaking of which, you need to get here soon, Alex. Your brother's spooked about something. It's not like Dayton. I'm on my way. He's spooked about something. Let's go. How far we got you to go to? Detroit, Alex. Set a waypoint and get over here. Right, and set a waypoint. This race is going to be intense, man. You should see this crowd. I can handle it. No doubt. Just don't forget your brother needs to see you after. Sound serious. Don't worry, old man. I'm not going to forget. All right. So let's get to this uh, race as quick as possible. Find out what the brother wants. Some of you guys may know what the brother wants, unfortunately. Uh, what we will do is pick a new vehicle, though. We're not going to go with the full Mustang again. I'm going to try and pick something different. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. Um, maybe the Nissan, I don't know. We'll see. This car's pretty nice though. We have got different views as well. Oh yeah. Uh, this was pretty quick. Uh, is there motion blur in this? I don't think there's motion blur in this. Can't really tell it's blur in this. Alright, I've got to turn. Turn off here. Without trying to crash. Do I have a certain like limit? No, I've just got to just get there right, basically. Get to the race. Finish first. Got um. Ooh. Whoa, was that? I think that may have been a player. Daniel was a player. Yo, sorry. Right, let's get back to this view. I can sort of see where I'm going now. <laughs> the first person view is pretty tricky, this, because so much traffic. Traffic's traveling pretty fast as well. Let's just turn off here. No, just keep going straight. Straight. Whoa, look at that car. Very nice. Oh, shit, I'm doing slaloms. I didn't mean to do that. Start this guy's in my way. God damn it. Doing freaking slaloms. Oh god, no points for that. Well, I suck. I have screwed the slaloms up big time. That guy's got gold over there. Okay, we could do this, still do this. Oh, let's get out of my way, you idiot. Uh, I can't help with this traffic there. I can't just magic the freaking traffic away. Get that one. Don't want to get for that bronze. Superb. Screwed that up big time. I don't mean to even start it, I was really ready, so I do apologise. Probably got gold on that already anyway. Right, where am I going next? Uh, continue. I'm on the wrong way. Screw this shot start. So basically those, those little mini things will give you um, extra XP, which will then give you access to like, different parts and stuff, new races. So they're definitely worth doing, and they're pretty much just like when you're like, travelling around, so it's like little side distractions. I was in Constrain, <laughs> just smashed into that wall. Oh god, what a noob. What an absolute noob. Alex, where are you, man? I'm coming. These hopefuls think the local boy ain't gonna show. Relax, I'll be there. It's really weird hearing Delson in the voice, just in the... It's slightly odd. I think if we start to hear too many games with the same voice, it just seems to like... It's a bit odd. I just find it a tiny bit odd, I don't know. Excuse me, traffic. Crazy driver coming through, so I've gotta go sort of straight up there. And turn left. I look at the map at the same time is sometimes very tricky. I mean, I'm a man, so I don't know. You get double tasking. Is that, is that a security gun? I could try and rob it and get money. Hello, Justin. Nissan 350Z. Very nice. So there's a handbrake as well. I do tend to use the handbrake quite a bit in this game. Oh, yeah, skinnies. Boom. Oh, I'm straight past it. <laughs> I thought we would normally access it like straight away, but nope, I had to stop. 
Where is he? Now I'm here. Let's do it solo. Cop is, uh... Can't do cop in this mission. This is so like Fast and the Furious, isn't it? I love it. The vibe, the music, and the and the honey's not joking. <laughs> oh, what did I say that for? I hope the girlfriend doesn't watch. Um, full G. I, I feel a little bit. Like I've got the shitty car, to be honest, but there we go. I'm so ready for this. Skyline as well. Oh, I fell in love with that skyline. Fast and Furious, like, so wanted, so badly. Is it too Fast and Furious, I think it was called? Or just the second film? So I'm starting at the back, of course. That Mercedes as well. Jesus Christ. Full GT. Oh, just went straight past them. <laughs> Tower roll. I'm guessing this car's been upgraded to the freaking max. So I'm going to try and do this without crashing. That's probably going to be fairly tricky, but I'm going to try my absolute hardest. Race like a no pro. Almost crashed, don't I? Use the handbrake. They changed the buttons for the handbrake. They changed the button for the handbrake. It used to be the A button, now it's the X button. And yes, I am using a, um, a controller on the PC. Xbox controller, Xbox One controller, to be exact. Oh, shit. Skim it a little bit. Excuse me. It's just like a little while to get used to the controls in this game, for sure. It's very, um, definitely arcadey. It's it's a slight sim, I guess, but not. I'd definitely say it's more arcade than anything else. So if you don't like arcade racing games, you're not gonna really like this game. This is purely built for fun. I'm also trying to work out what game I prefer: uh, Falls of Horizon 2 or this game, because they're they're, they're fairly similar. Um, Falls is based around Southern Europe. This one's obviously based in America. That's definitely fat sort of USA, sorry. Finish lines there. That was a pretty good race for me. I'm very happy with that. Boom! A few little nudges, a few little scratches. Apart from that, it was pretty, pretty spawn. Silver? What? Are you kidding me? I was pretty close. I need to get 1,000... Sorry, 15,000. Yes, right. 15,000 points. <laughs> it's like my mess went out the window there. But, um, oh, so close to gold. So strange. You can redo the missions, by the way, if you want to get gold. All of them, you can. Hey, bro. I need a ride. I got you. Everything all right? Fine. Let's go. Ambassador Bridge, bro. Picked up some heat tonight. Yeah, I did. And I lost them. It was fun. Why have you always got to be on the wrong side of the law? I mean, you don't mess with cops on race night. Because the more heat that's around, the less business we can do. See, shit like this is why you haven't got your 510 ink. Come on, Dayton. I'm the best driver in the whole damn state. This isn't about that, Alex. I founded the 510s. I'm the V8. And my own brother is breaking the rules. How do you think that looks? No wonder I've got guys breaking rank left and right. So, what are we doing? Some guy named Shiv. Before I ain't met yet. Gotta ask him a few questions about money going missing. So why am I here? Why not one of your five pens? You're an asshole. You can drive. And if I've gotta put Shiv back in line, I want the best driver I've got to burn him on the road. And I was giving you a chance to take this stuff seriously. Level two! Sweet. All car levels will be increased in three levels. What does that mean? <laughs> I was trying to read that, I was like, what? Yes. Gold! 
so good. Got some XP for that as well. And some bucks. Got some bucks for it. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Oops. Jesus Christ, they got, he got framed. There's not going to be any fingerprints on that gun, though. There'll be someone else's fingerprints on it. And you can see he clearly hasn't got any gloves. So, how do you magically fire the gun? Now he's been framed for it. It's a joke. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dirty. All I need is proof. And you want this guy, Dennis Jefferson, AKA Shiv, leader of the 510 Motor Club. I'm in. You've got eight more years in here. We can wipe that slate clean, clear your name. I said I'm in. Okay. You're hereby working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. There's a ride in the shop across town. I'll be in touch. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Whatever gets you stoked. We have a budget for this operation, Alex, but it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. After that, you'll have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure. Right, so now into the showroom, I've got to pick what car I'm going to be having at the start of the game. So, oh man, it's so tricky to decide. I don't know what to go for. So I've, I've picked the full Mustang already in my last video, so I'm not going to pick that one. So I've got three more to pick from. So, oh, I don't know. All of them are pretty... Let's have a quick look at the power, actually. So that's got, that's got four. Horsepower's pretty good on that one. I must admit. Ooh. 
Okay. Okay, I think I've been convinced already. Okay, let's go for the challenge then. <laughs> Solved it. And it looks pretty nice as well. So let's go for the challenger. I'm ready. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm not that convinced. This was this thing as well. Crew credits. Ooh. Don't like the sound of that. But we do have a spare bit of money left as well. Which is good. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I've got my car. I actually quite like the rooms on it already. Oh, yes. I think I picked the right one. I think I have. It's, it's, I know it's fairly similar to a full Mustang in terms of, like, obviously it's muscle. But it's, it's so different as well at the same time. I'm looking forward to this. It should be good. Dodge Challenger. Alex, there are car dealers like this all across the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars. So you might want to swing by each and take a look. There are 510 tuners all over the country who specialize in different car modifications. As this operation progresses, you'll need to access these tuners. But for now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides, built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason. Street spec should be your first choice for cross-country road trips. Sweet, so I've got to get my street cruise on. My street specs. So I just go straight up to here. Equip it. Um, select it. I'm just going to fast travel there. There's no need to uh, drive around. There's a tuner across town. I'll send the location to your phone. Thank you Call very much. Zoe's very useful, isn't she? So here we can customize our car as well. We can add spoilers to it. Rear wings, new wheels, rims, okay, um, hoods and stuff. Let's get so. your ride fitted for street spec. Sounds good. I wonder what it's going to look like with street spec on it. Ugh. I love a bit of street spec. Every car you buy at a car dealer is a full stock ride, ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. The higher the car level, the better it performs. Oh my. I just I love all this upgrade stuff as well. And the fact that street, you got dirt, and it's just so different. You got a circuit one as well, which looks amazing. It's so quick as well. Look at that. That car looks amazing in a, in circuit mode. So let's uh, select the street kit. Access prepaid by Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Appreciate it. It's so friendly. Looking good. Let's hit the streets. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Oh, never before this. Oh. Right, so we've got our street car purchased. Um, I don't want to tune it, but if we're gonna, can we do any customization? Uh, visual, there we go, perfect. So we've got colors, interior, front bumpers, rear bumpers, fenders, skirts, rims, side mirrors, rear wing, and hood. So we've got hoods. Oh man, these, some of these hoods are beastly. I'm not a big fan of like the carbon look, so I probably won't go for that. Uh, which, what's, what's the standard one we have at the moment? And what it looks like. We go back out. Shit. I like that one quite a bit actually. The stand one looks pretty cool. That looks quite looking number three. Uh, not that key number six. Let's go for number three, I reckon. Boom. Purchased. Uh, I don't really fancy going for a, a rear wing. I think it looks good the way it is. Uh, front bumper. What have we got? Man, some of these look sexy. Some of these look really nice. I quite like having the sort of Challenger logo on it. If we can try and keep that on it, I would be a big fan of that. Uh, which one do I like? Oh, yeah, stick. oh, I quite like number nine. Let's go for number nine. Boom, done. Rear bumper. Man, so much options. Too many options. No, I'm joking. There's never too many. What? I'm looking at the lights more than anything. Um, looks a bit, a bit, little bit retro for my liking. Uh, which one was oh, I don't know I'm going to leave that for now quite the standard one let's put skirts on though what no skirts literally guys I have no idea what to go for look how much these colours cost I would, that does not look good I do not like the look of that that is pretty terrifying uh, the black looks oh, it's like a greeny black isn't it I'm not keen on that uh, let's go for uh, quite a look at that it's like a sort of matte finish almost Let's go for that. It looks pretty mean. I've got some stickers as well. Uh, it's got flaming stuff. Got some like gothic -y stuff. 
fun surfer stuff. Racing, maybe? Do I want a strap? I don't know what I want. But like a, a white stripe looks quite cool. Let's go for a white stripe. We can always change it. What stripe do I want, though? So I've got that one. Got like a double stripe. Definitely like the middle one. That looks pretty. Let's go for that. Boom, done. So that's it for visuals. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It's looking pretty mean. It's looking ready for racing, for sure. I might change the rims perhaps at some point. We'll see. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, performance. I haven't unlocked any parts yet. I have to do like story missions and stuff like that to actually unlock the parts and then we can access them. Put them into the vehicle. Makes it nice and mean and stuff, which is awesome. But it's ready for the track, I guess. It's ready for a bit of racing. Ready for a bit of street racing. Let's quit. Let's go onto the open road. Man, I love the look of this car, honestly. It's looking very, very nice. Mmm. I can, I can smell the fumes already. <laughs> and the rubber. Very nice. I'm happy with that. What's it, what's it look inside, actually? Alex, come over to the location I'm sending you now. I want to see how you handle yourself. I want to see how I handle myself. What the hell does that mean? Anyway. Um, how do I pause this? There we go. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Crew. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Um, like I said, I've done this already, so I don't want to sort of just throw the same videos up again but if you want to see more i'll definitely try to do some more we can just explore for a bit do a few little story missions here and there do some side bits i don't know it's up to you let me know in the comments below and i will see you later thank you for watching bye bye